During the software update process, you may encounter some errors. We'll show you what they can be and how to proceed when you get them. So sometimes in the step one, you get an error unable to start. What you need to do is turn the bike off, turn it back on. Once again, on the info screen, check all the connections to make sure that everything is as it should be. And once again, start the software process from the beginning. There are also some other errors. We have a step two error saying no Wi-Fi connection. This means that your bike is not connected to the hotspot on your mobile phone. You'll need to check that out to make sure that there are no typing errors and everything is correct, correctly set so your bike could connect. Step three, fetching file error, occurs when you don't have enough mobile data to download the file from our environment. So you'll need to check your SIM card to make sure that you'll have enough mobile data to download the file. We have the step four flashing error. This is the probably most common error. It happens while the new file is being installed onto the bike. The cure for this is to once again turn off the bike, turn it back on, check all the connectivity on the info screen and start the process all over again. There's also a step five flashing error. It's pretty much the same as in the step four. You'll need to turn the bike off, turn it back on, check the connection statuses and start the process all over again. So in almost, I would say in, if you get an error in any step, just turn the bike off, turn it back on, check the connection statuses, check your mobile hotspot, mobile data and start the process from the beginning.